What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing this 2025 Subaru Legacy. Let's get right into it. And now when we come onto the front end, you can see we have the Subaru logo on the center and then we have this black we have this black gorgeous looking grill with this continuing all the way into the headlamps and then we have these all LED headlamps with the turn indicator and we have the fog lamps down below the bumper and the skid plate and this is our overall front look and now when we come onto the side you can see this gorgeous gray paint with this cuts and curves nice fenders and with this uh, two-tone alloy wheels in the silver and grayish color those look pretty fancy we have 18 inch tires on the front and over on the rear and now let's take a couple steps back this is the entire side profile of the car now when we come onto the back you can see the subaru logo up center the subaru badging and the legacy badging and if you're wondering yes it's symmetrical all-wheel drive all subarus come standard with that and then we have these gorgeous looking led tail lamps and we have this body colored orv hems with the led turn indicator strip over here and yes these get blind spot monitoring and then so under the hood we have an actually aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder that produces 182 horsepower and then 176 pound feet of torque that goes through a cvt automatic and then now when we come on in the back door you can see a lot of premium trim this may be hard plastic but we have this soft touch down here soft touch down here a lot of soft touch and then we have this glossy black finish with the good looking chrome door handles automatic power window controls grab handle cup holder storage space now when we come onto the seats we have these cloth seats that are perforated and as you can see gray color all three get a headdress but yeah these are cloth perforated seats and then let's pop in the back real quick as you can see i'm 5758 so i have a lot so i have a very good amount of knee room and i have an I have okay okay amount of headroom but room is pretty good back here and the seats are pretty comfortable and spacious back there and see we have these cool looking AC vents at the back to this we have a USB-C and a USB-A port at the back and even have heated seats at the back that's cool a first sedan I've ever saw that this is one of the first sedan that I have seen getting heated seats at the back that's pretty cool always a plus where it snows and and then yeah as you can see we have an armrest up center as well that has two cup holders pretty good two cup holders now when we come onto the front door you can see the same trim hard plastic over here but then all of this is soft touch soft touch down here and then the all four automatic power window controls child lock lock and lock to adjust the mirrors chrome door handle and then if you are wondering yes it does get the it does get memory seats and then we have a cup holder storage space we have harman kardon speakers that usually come in like volvo mercedes all the luxury brand of speakers and then over here we have wow soft touch on the dash cool looking ac vents soft touch down here we have hard plastic here but we have the light level controls over here we have the button to open the trunk from here and then and then we have the engine start stop button down there and now when we come onto the steering wheel it's a nice touch it's a cloth steering wheel but the feel is still pretty good and we have paddle shifters over here to paddle shifters and then we have some physical control over here for the source to change for the infotainment system to increase or decrease the volume then we have the adaptive cruise controls here steering for the highway over here and then we have the subaru logo on the steering and then we have physical stocks for the headlights and then we have physical stops for the wipers it and gets an analog instrument cluster these are the sun visors with the mirror and the led lights and then when you come onto the center we have more led lights over here 
and then we have this to control the sunroof if you are wondering yes this does get a sunroof more about that later and then this is our sunglass holder and then now when you come onto the center we see this giant gorgeous ac vents and then we have this 11.6 inch touch screen that looks pretty good and overall the interior looks pretty nice in this then down here then down here we have an electronic parking brake and then over here we have an aux port which is pretty unique and a usb a usb c port with our cvt gear shifter over here that has like park to drive this is a cute little cvt gear shifter i like this crossback segment on the top and then wow all of this is soft touch that's i've never seen a car at this price i'll come to the price later but at this price getting all of it soft touch is quite rare it gives you a luxury feeling and then yeah we have soft touch down here on the center console as well then we have two cup holders over here we have an armrest that's also nice trim on the armrest and it has two segments this is the top and now let me show you the bottom good and then and then wow i just noticed this we have the heated this has heated steering wheel and the button is down here and since it has heated steering wheel these are the front seats those look pretty comfortable these are cloth perforated so if this has heated steering wheel that means this is going to have the heated seats as well but the controls are going to be in the touch screen and then as you can see we have this mirror and then this is to control our sunroof and you can see a sunroof it's always nice to have these features and then you can see these are the cameras up front for the eyesight driving technology as i was showing this is the eyesight camera system up in the front so as you can see the eyesight camera system is up here that's pretty cool before we move forward with this review i just want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this then i recommend you subscribe because i post content every single week so it would help me it would motivate me to bring more videos for you guys and to get better quality content so for that please hit the subscribe button and now let's check its let's check its trunk space this is a trunk the trunk lid gets lifted and as you can see we have this a uh, giant size trunk it's pretty practical and then we have this rubber floor mat back here and then we have this tabs to throw down the seats for extra storage but without throwing the seats you can see what a massive trunk we have it's a pretty practical sedan and since it's all wheel drive it will be good for the snow and now so now you people were wondering it's fully it's like almost fully equipped it has all the good features and all so as you can see this is the this is the subaru legacy it's the 2025 model and its price is $35,923. You might think it's a lot, but the base price is almost $32. But then but then you have the distraction system, power moonroof, heated 360 degree steering wheel. You have the steering wheel and then you have the bigger navigation system on this. So and then we have some upgrades. So that comes out to a total of uh, the msrp is approximately thirty six thousand dollars but i would say it's still bang for your buck because in this economy when the average new car costs around fifty thousand dollars thirty six thousand dollars for an all-wheel drive and fully loaded car not bad and as you can see what a list of standard safety features so yeah as i mentioned previously when i was showing the engine it gets 182 horsepower and 176 pound feet of torque so it still gets 27 miles per gallon in the city and 35 miles per gallon on the highway which is quite impressive since it's an all-wheel drive so obviously its fuel efficiency is going to be a little less than a normal front wheel drive sedan but still pretty impressive for the fuel economy and, and let me know down in the comments how did you like this 2025 subaru legacy and make sure to like that button comment and let me know how you like the looks the features and what do you think of the price and i would like to give my thanks to stalker subaru of state college who let me spend some time with this legacy so that i can film it for you guys thank you so much and i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's all for now uh, if you enjoyed it hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one